what's up guys welcome back to the channel happy new year everybody it is now january 1st 2020 i'm recording this video the time i don't know it's in the morning eight nine o'clock in the morning what can i say happy new year's 2020 just remember if you're doing the same thing that you were doing last year then you're not moving forward always keep moving forward you guys try new things do new things and keep moving forward that's the only way you can become better at whatever it is you're doing in life all right now let's get into this video before I um, put the rest of this video in I want to share this quick this quick story with you so you can understand why I don't carry cash um, I was robbed before by gunpoint and to be honest with you the guy that robbed me was lucky he was lucky and the reason why I say that is because I carry my firearm every single day every single day now I was on my way to Hobby Town USA to uh, go get this RC car so I just went ahead and got the cash out the bank and I was headed to go get it now on my way there I decided oh, let me stop and get something to drink because I was thirsty and also let me uh grab some chips you know i could eat on the way there while i'm driving because it was a nice drive it's about a 45 minute to an hour drive so i stopped at this store i was in some neighborhood i'm i don't know i just i never been through there before but it seemed like it was a nice quiet neighborhood so i'm being naive thinking oh nothing's going to happen to me you know so i went ahead and i headed to the store now while i'm driving just so you know my, my firearm I keep it in my waistband but it gets real uncomfortable when I'm driving because you know with my seat belt and where it's positioned it just get uncomfortable so I always when I get in my vehicle take it out and put it in the center console and I just leave it in there until I'm about to get out and then I just put it back on me now with that being said I'm pulled up to the store I'm thinking and being naive. Oh, nothing's going to happen to me. It's a pretty quiet neighborhood. Nothing's going to happen to me. I'm just going to run in here real quick and run out. Well, it didn't work out that way. So basically what happened is I was on my way to the door to walk into the store. And the guy said, hey, man, you got the time? You know, just the way he said it. You know, I was just thinking, oh, shit, yeah, whatever. So I looked down at my watch, told him the time or whatever. And when I looked back up, I, I shouldn't have never took my eye off of him. But when I look back up, he had a gun pointed at me. Now it wasn't no like like look, you know how like some people you know, like look like in the movies and stuff and whatever they they try to like hide it in their in their shirt and just act like they got a gun, but they really don't. Just give me your wallet, you know, type thing. Well, I didn't get that in that situation. It was full blown gun pointed at me. And first thing I did was because I'm not afraid of firearms, you know, I just don't want to be shot. So. I'm not afraid of firearms, so I didn't panic. So I stared at his gun and made sure, you know, I'm staring at his gun and I'm making sure it's a real gun, you know, because you got these BB guns out here that looks real, but they not, you know, so I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm, and I'm mad. You really don't want to do this, you know, and I'm talking to him, man, you really don't want to do this. You know, think about it. You know, if you need some money, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, you hungry or something, you know what I'm saying? I take you go get something to eat is what I'm telling him, you know, so. He said, I ain't trying to hear all that. Just give me the fucking wallet, you know? So I was like, all right, so the gun is real, but I can't tell if it's loaded or not. So I just said, you know what? I don't want to get shot here, man. So I reached in, I tossed the wallet to him. And then he slowly backed away, backed away, backed away, backed away, backed away. Turned the corner, and I don't know, he took off. I don't know where he went. He took off. So I ran in my car grab my gun I ran over there to where he was at turn the corner and he was nowhere to be found he was totally gone I don't know he I don't know he was gone so at this point I'm pissed now I'm thirsty I'm thirsty I need a snack my money's gone ID's gone everything's gone I don't have anything so I said all right so I called the police made the police report and all of that and that was that and then I just turned around took my butt back home no RC, no no wallet, no cash, no nothing. Got home, start calling the banks. You know, hey, my wallet was stolen. I got the police report. This is the police report number. Boom, boom, boom. So they put a hold on all my cards, canceled them, and all that good stuff. You know, but just the whole headache of it all is just a pain. 
you know because now you got to wait for new cards to get mailed to you i had to go i'm gonna have to go and get another id and you know just 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 unnecessary stuff you know so two or three days later i get a call I'm not sure how they how they uh have my number maybe i had it in my wallet i don't know but i got a call somebody saying hey i found your wallet laying on the ground you know know if you like would you like it back i was like yeah so met up with them and i got my wallet back everything was still in my wallet except the cash so long story short you guys if you have cash on you or if you have cash in your wallet and you drop your wallet or you lose your wallet or you misplace it somewhere or you get it stolen the cash in your wallet you're never going to get it back you're never going to get gone you're not going to see it again now at least with the um your credit cards and your bank cards you know once you make the police report that it's been stolen you can um call your banks give them the police report number and if anything has been used or charged then it will be considered fraud and they will replace that money for you and give you your money back so you know you ain't lose anything only thing you're gonna get is experience you know as in if somebody robs you or you know I don't know but I just thought I'd share that story with you guys I don't like to carry cash if I can't charge it fine but if I do have to be somewhere that has to that it needs cash then I'll go to the bank I'll carry cash but at the end of the day the money goes into the jar and at that point I don't see it again to the end of the year what's up guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel this here is something that I do every single year so I'm not here to brag or anything it just this is what I do every year I decided you know what let me put it on camera you know maybe you guys do it I don't know but this is what I do um, a lot of people know me and they know that I do not like carrying cash and I'm gonna tell you why I don't like carrying cash I've been robbed before and you know when you get robbed as soon as they gone with your cash you're not getting it back it's gone you're not gonna see it again but with credit cards you know they take your wallet and your credit cards all you got to do is make a couple phone calls you know report the fraud and then boom you got all your money back so that is one of the reasons why I don't carry cash now say I have to go somewhere where I'm required to use cash and not card then I will go to the bank and I will take some money out but again at the end of the day I put all the money in the jar so this is my jar I don't take anything out of it at the end of the day if I have cash change or whatever it goes into the jar and at the end of the year or I should say at the beginning of the year January 1st I go through the jar and I count out what I got I don't know how much this is but we just gonna go in so we're gonna see so this is the papers we are looking at 20 35, 45, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, So we're looking at, damn, I lost count that quick. <laughs> $62. So we're looking at $62 in paper. All right. And now I'm going to have to go through all of this stuff. I'm gonna to have to separate everything so I'll probably speed the video up at this point
all right i got everything separated now i'm gonna go go down and i'm gonna count this stuff up and see how much i got in each pile of change as you can see i got quarters pennies dimes and nickels so we already got let me make sure again i think it's 62 dollars in bills 30 40 50 1 2 3 4 62. So we got $62 in bills and there's no telling how much in coins. So I'm going to count this up and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got everything totaled up. I'm going to tell you how many I had. So in dimes, I had 78 dimes. I had 51 nickels, 125 pennies, and 79 quarters. So with all that being said, hopefully my math is right. So $7.80 in dimes, $2.55 in nickels, $1.25 in pennies, and $19.75 in quarters, which gives me a grand total of $93.35. So you guys are probably wondering, what am I going to be doing with this money? Well, usually what I do, like every year, take the family out to go eat. We're just going to go eat with this money. So that's we're going to spend it on food. <laughs> that's what we do. So... You know, I'll see, you know, what restaurants is open today. I'm pretty sure it's a couple open, you know, Cheesecake Factory, something. I don't know. You know, it's five of us. So, you know, I am probably have to put a little bit more money with it, you know, since it's five of us. So, yeah, it's going to be a little nice size bill. But again, we already starting out at 93, 93.35. So I shouldn't have to put that much with it. But all right, guys, until next time, this is year 2020. A lot of things is changing. So happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. Enjoy the time with your family because tomorrow it's time to get back to work. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one.